Hello students, this is Coach Holiday, and today we're going to start Unit 5-1 on Rational Expressions. Uh, in Lesson 1, we're going to talk about simplifying and multiplying rational expressions. All right. So before we get started, we really need to know what is a rational expression. A rational expression is the quotient of, polynom of two polynomials. Now does anybody know what a quotient is? Ms. Garcia? A result obtained by dividing one quantity by another. Very good. So in English, Mrs. Dalton, what does that mean? The answer to a division problem. Oh, very good. See, thank you all for your help. All right. So to simplify a rational, so basically all we're going to do is we're going to be doing division. Division of polynomials, basically, in this. Um, to simplify a rational expression, we talk about simplifying, there's three steps we're going to take. The first step is we're going to simply write the numerator in factored form and the numerator is the top number of our fra fraction or quotient. The second step is to do the same thing with our denominator. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing and two, except for I'm going to replace that numerator with denominator. Write it in factored form. And so then we're going to have factors in the numerator, factors in the denominator. So the last step is we're going to cancel out common factors between the numerator and the denominator. So cancel out factors in the top and the bottom, or in the numerator and denominator. Okay, so hopefully you've written those down. We're going to use this, these three steps, to work the the problems we're going to work on the next page. Okay, so here's our first example: 8x to the fifth divided by 2x to the fourth. Okay, so let's write this in factored form: the numerator and the denominator each. So. 8, I'm going to write as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then I have 5x's. Some of you are going to be able to do this without writing this out, and that's okay, because we've already worked this in class. So the de denominator is going to be, here goes the bell, 2 and 4x's. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel things out that I can. So I can cancel a 2 on the top and the bottom, and I can cancel 1x, 2x, 3x, and 4x. And then my answer is going to be what's left over. On the top I have 2 times 2 times 2, which 2 times 2 is 4 times 2. Oops, I wrote too many 2's there, didn't I? So I have 2 times 2, which is 4 and I have an x on top and there's nothing remaining on the bottom so I'll just leave it as 4x or I could put it 4x over 1. Okay? Example 2. Okay, example number 2 simplifying this one it's going to take a little bit more work because our numerator actually has a polynomial with three terms or a trinomial so to put it in factored form we're going to have to actually use the box method if you'll remember. So I'm going to draw my box and I'm going to put the squared term in the top left, so that's just 1x squared. And then put that last term, the c, in the bottom right. And now I want to find factors that multiply to make negative 3x squared that add up to be negative 2x. Go back in our, in our toolbox and pull some of these out from the old lessons. The only factors of negative 3 are negative 1 and positive 3 or positive 1. I'm positive 3 and negative 1. All right, so my factors would be negative 3x times 1x. When I add those together, that's going to give me, there's the bell again, negative 2x. So negative 3x here, 1x here. Now I'm going to do my factors. Factors of the first column are x. The second column minus 3, first row, x, and the last row, there's nothing in common but a 1, and it's going to be plus. 
So on top, instead of writing x squared minus 2x minus 3, I'm going to write x minus 3 times x plus 1. And in the denominator, that's already factored out. I have x plus 4 times x plus 1. Now the third step says we're going to cancel out any common factors. So if you look, each of them have an x plus 1. So the remaining factors are going to be my simplified polynomial, or my simplified rational expression. I have x minus 3 on the top, or in the numerator, and x plus 4 in the bottom, or my denominator. And that is going to be my simplified version. Okay, now it's on to multiplying the rational expressions. Um, there are steps for doing that, and they're pretty similar to simplifying. But to multiply rational expressions, here are our steps. The first step is to write each numerator and denominator. Sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. in factor form. Step two is to combine numerators and combine denominators. And I'll show you how to do that in just a couple of minutes. And step three is to cancel, just like we did when we simplified, common factors that are in the numerator and denominator. Okay, so we're going to go on to an example. But before we go on to this example, uh, we have a short little video for you to relax, catch your breath, and we'll get back to the work. Con los terroristas. Everybody up dancing? All right, here we go. Now, uh, to simplify, let's go back and use the rules. We're going to write each numerator and denominator in factored form. We're going to combine the numerators, combine the denominators, and cancel common factors between the numerator and denominator. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So in the top, in the numerator, let's combine. So I've got 2 and 15. So that'd be 2 times and 15 is going to be 3 times 5. And then I have 8x's in the first one and 2x's in the second one, so that's going to be 10x's. Alright, so that's going to take me a while to write all these down. Alright, and 5y's, oops, that should have been an x, and 5y's. Alright, and on the bottom, in the denominator, we have our 3, and then our 8 is going to be three twos, not four twos like I did well ago. And then we have two x's on the left, three more x's on the right, and then two y's. And now we'll go through and we'll cancel anything we can cancel. So I have a two, cancel, a three, cancel, an x, another x, another x, another x, another x, and now we got y's we can cancel and a y. Alright, so left over on the in the numerator is a 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's and 3 y's. So we have 5 and then 5 x's, so the x to the fifth, 3 y's, so it's y to the third. In the denominator we have a 2 times a 2, we're just gonna make a 4. And there is our multiplied rational expressions. And they're also simplified. 
Example two. Okay, example two. If you'll notice, um, I, this one I've got a binomial over a binomial times a binomial over a binomial. Okay, x plus two, that one's already factored. x plus four, that one's already factored. So I'm just going to rewrite it as x plus two times x plus four. Now 3x plus 12, I'm going to go over here and remember there's two ways we know how to factor basically. The first one is greatest common factor. So if I notice that a 3 will go into the first term and to the second term. So if I divide them both by 3, all right, that gives me 3 is my common factor and left over is an x plus 4. 3x divided by 3 is x, 12 divided by 3 is 4. All right, so those are my factors there. So I'm going to write 3 times x plus 4. And notice you have x plus 4 on the bottom and top, so we're good there. The next thing is I want to factor this x squared minus 4. I'm going to go back and use the box again. All right, so I'm going to put x squared in the top left, minus 4 in the bottom right. So they have to multiply to be negative 4x squared. Now there's no middle term, so that means they have to add to be 0x. So that's going to be 2x times negative 2x. So I'll put 2x there, negative 2x there, and now I'll find my factors. That first column is x, the last column is 2, it's positive, so I'll put a plus, x, and then negative 2. So my factors for x squared minus 4 are x plus 2 and x minus 2. Now since I've got everything factored, I can go through and do my canceling. So there's an x plus 2 on the top and an x plus 2 on the top. And x plus 4 on the top, I mean on the bottom. x plus 4 on the top and x plus 4 on the bottom. And that's all that cancels. Now since everything on top cancels, remember I can have a 1 there, so I need to go ahead and hold my place with a 1. And then in the bottom, the denominator, I have 3 times x minus 2. And there is our rational expression multiplied and then simplified. Let's look at another example. Okay, I've skipped over um, one example, and I'm going to go into the last example, and then I'm going to have you work the one that I skipped on your own. If you look at this, this uh, rational expression, multiplied, x minus 1, this is already factored. 3x minus 5. 3 goes into that, but 3 doesn't go into the negative 5, so it's already factored. x plus 1 is already factored, and x minus 7 is already factored. So everything's already factored. So all I got to do is go through here and cancel out anything that's in common. But notice, there's x minus 1 on top, but there's not one in the bottom. 3x minus 5 on top, not one in the bottom. There's nothing that cancels. So we could say that this is already when, I'm, when I multiply, I just put them together, and it's already going to be simplified for me. So I just write it as x minus 1 times 3x minus 5 over x plus 1 times x minus 7. Okay? So hopefully that made sense to you. So sometimes you can't do anything but just multiply them. There's not going to be any simplifying to do. All right, one last example. We're going to move back to the previous one that we skipped. And I would like for you to take just a moment and try to work this one out on your own. Pause the video and then come back and check and see how you did. Okay, so your answer is going to be 5 times x minus 5 times x minus 1 all over x times x plus 5. That will be your simplified multiplied version. All right. Um, Hope that you understood this. I know this was a little lo bit longer of a lesson, but tomorrow's lesson on division is going to be a lot faster because we're going to use the same rules basically. So I'll make up for it then, okay? Um, make sure you get your WSQ completed. And if you want to go back and rewind and see Coach Lester do the dance again, then uh, go ahead and do that. And we hope you have a nice evening.